Hello, welcome to Mastering Statistics. Here we're going to continue doing hypothesis testing with means and dealing with large sample sizes greater than 30. Now we've already introduced the concept of this uh, kind of category of hypothesis test. We've introduced why we can tabulate this. Uh, it's because the normal distribution doesn't change from problem to problem. And we've already done a problem in the last section, a full-blown word problem, to kind of get your feet wet with that. But in this case, what I want to do is instead of giving you more word problems of this type, I want to do some rapid fire problems um, just to kind of mix it up a little bit and give you a little more practice. So what I'm going to do now is write down kind of the core information. I'm not going to give you a word problem, I'm not going to give you a scenario, I'm not going to talk about a factory. I'm just going to give you the null hypothesis, the alternate hypothesis, and some additional information. And then we want to work through and see if we're going to reject that null hypothesis or not. Uh, it's the same exact thing, it's just we're not giving a, a long scenario with it. It gives you a little bit of practice uh, in kind of a rapid fire way. So this is given to you in the problem. You're given that the null hypothesis is that the mean of whatever it is we're studying is greater than or equal to 409. This could be whatever we want. It could be the length of, of Lincoln Logs, could be the volume of basketballs, it could be anything. So this is the null hypothesis. And the alternate hypothesis is that this mean is less than 409. All right, so this is the status quo. This is what we're really trying to test. Additionally, in the problem, uh, we are given that alpha, the uh, alpha parameter that we use here, the level of significance is 0 0.05, 0 0.05, and then we're also given that the sample data gives or yields that the uh, uh, test statistic is negative 1.87. So what we need to do is use this information to figure out are we going to reject this null hypothesis or fail to reject this null hypothesis. You might look at this and say, well, this looks a little bit different than the kind of problems we've been doing before. But really, it's not any different. It's the, it gives you exactly the same information, just slightly different. We have both hypotheses here. We know the level of significance. Uh, and in this case, it's telling us the sample data gives us a value of z. This is basically calculating the test statistic ahead of time. Instead of me telling you what the sample, number of samples, sample mean, sample standard deviation, if you see a problem like this where it's giving you some value of z from the sample data, that's just telling you that that work has been done for you. You've already calculated the test statistic. Uh, and so all you need to do is put the ingredients together and figure out what you have. All right. Now, as always, the very first thing to do is Note that the alternate hypothesis is a left arrow, so this is left tail test. That's the, the first thing you always look at. And then we want to always draw a picture. So let's go ahead and draw ourselves a picture. And this is going to be a 